Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Saturday, August 31st, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games in Major League Baseball and college football as well as we got that kicking off, guys. So let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are, college football picks as well. In the comments below, where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content, guys. It helps out the algorithm as we'll talk first game up on the Diamond, 610 Eastern Time. Pittsburgh Pirates, Cleveland Guardians, Matt Boyd, the lefty going for Cleveland, Luis Ortiz for Pittsburgh, eight and a hook being the total minus 165. That's Cleveland as the home favorite. They've been monsters at home, 41 and 24 when playing in Cleveland. They've won two straight. They scored 17 runs the last two games. The reason I wanted to talk this one, guys, is Ortiz. If you've been watching the show, We've been betting on him with some success. The 25-year-old Dominican-born pitcher, 3-3 ERA, over 100 innings on the season. He was a reliever turned starter, and he's actually been better as a starter. The opponent's batting average, 45 points less since he's been a starter. Six innings last time out, zero earned, four hits, five strikeouts against the Reds. I think he can have a good start here. The the only problem with... with uh, back in Ortiz and the Pirates in this one is they're up against Matt Boyd and he's only got three starts this season. All of them solid. He's got solid numbers, two, seven ERA. And this Pittsburgh lineup isn't very deep. So look, they got a shot obviously to cover uh, as big dogs here, but losing four straight, I, I actually don't think it sets up that well this time around. Instead, I actually think Matt Boyd is going to have a decent start here for Cleveland. Now, I don't love the minus 165 as the favorite. I just think it's too expensive. Instead, I think the Pirates team total under is the way to go with this one, guys. So that's how we'll start off. Pirates team total under against Cleveland. We got next one up 705 Eastern Oakland A's Texas Rangers. Cody Bradford on the hill, the lefty for the Rangers. Joey Estes going for the Oakland A's. Eight and a hook or nine, kind of a split line here, depending on where we're shopping as the total, minus 150. That's Texas as the home favorite. They got Bradford on the hill. He, he's been good. I mean, eight starts, the 26-year-old out of Baylor, really solid. He had, uh, what, a 44 to eight strikeout to walk ratio. He's only seen the A's lineup once. It was last year as a reliever, and he had a clean inning against them. So I guess that's positive. And Joey Estes, the starter for the A's, 22-year-old. He had a rocky start to the season, but he's been great recently. His last seven starts, he's got a sub-2-9 ERA. He's never faced the Rangers, so I think that's in his advantage. Um, I, I actually think that both of these starters are going to have great outings here. Oakland has won four of five. It interested me to get on the A's as the dog, but instead, Texas, four of the last five unders, I think both starters have good starts, and I actually think this one stays under. Nine's a pretty hefty total here. The Rangers have kind of struggled of late, there, so I think Estes is is, is going to do well. I don't think this gets into double digits, guys. So let's find the nine and bet under A's and Rangers. Next one up, Toronto Blue Jays. Minnesota Twins here. Jose Barrios on the hill for the Jays. Matthews going for the Twins. Minus 150, that's Minnesota's the home favorite. Eight in the hook being the total. Blue Jays, four straight unders, talking about totals here. They've only scored two runs their last three games. Uh, Minnesota, actually, two straight, and five of their last seven go into the under. So kind of the same setup here. This is game two of the series. Game one finished two to nothing. Matthews for the Twins, 24-year-old rookie, three starts, all solid, five innings, two earned runs or less. And Jose Barrios, he's been a little bit up and down earlier in the season, but Man, his last few outings, he, he's been great. Two earned runs or less in all all four of the the last four starts, going seven plus, two earned runs or less. So he's riding a hot right hand here and went over the, the under trend for really both of these two teams. So another, you know, decent total, eight in the hook. We get plus money on the under, plus 105, risk 100 to win 105, under eight and a half in Minnesota. Last baseball game we'll talk before we turn the page to college football. 7-10 Eastern time, New York Mets, Chicago White Sox. Davis Martin on the hill for the White Sox. Jose Quintana, the Southpaw, going for the Metropolitans. Minus 195, that's the Mets as the road favorite. Total of nine. Got to talk the White Sox. I think we talked them once earlier this week, but now 31 in 104. Yeah, you heard that right. 31 wins, 104 losses. 
losing eight straight games. They've lost 12 of their last 13. This has been, uh, I, in my opinion, this is the worst team of my lifetime that I can remember anyway. And they're up against the Mets here, winning two straight 70 wins on the season. They got Quintana on the hill, up and down, last time out, six and a third, blanking the San Diego Padres. That's a solid start. Only four hits given up. Davis Martin, the starter for the White Sox, 27-year-old out of Texas Tech. The former Red Raider, decent numbers in six outings this season. But going up against the Mets, I think they get after him, guys. Uh, it's fade city on the Chicago White Sox here. So maybe we could put a little coin in our pocket. Don't like the minus 195. So the Mets on the road here. We'll lay the run line. We can get it down to minus 120. That's the Mets by multiple runs over the White Sox. Guys, check out Premium Picks, Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. We got college football getting going as well, baseball alongside. So uh, you can check it all out there. We got a lot of specials up, seven-day, 30-day package, all available there. And huge shout-out to everybody uh, chiming in in the comments below, uh, growing the algorithm, growing the show, smashing the like button. It all is welcome, guys. So, uh, yeah, down in the comments below. I'll be in there throughout the day as well. All right, college football. First time we're talking about it on the show. And want to throw out a season win total bet that I, I placed. Uh, I, I like it a lot. And I'll just start reading it off here. It's the Florida Gators, guys. Their season win total is four and a half or five, def depending where you're shopping. Different numbers. I'll get into that. But a lot of people down on the Gators this year. I'm going against the grain here, which I don't mind going against the masses. They um, Well, first off, it's year three under Billy Napier. And that's always, a, or I view it as a, a very important year. You know, you've, you've had a couple years to get your systems in, to get your players, your culture. And a lot of people are down on Napier. I actually think he's a great football coach. I mean, you go back to his time at L Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns, uh, they were a dominant program in the Sun Belt. He was actually two-time head coach, Sun Belt head coach of the year. He was a former assistant under Nick Saban. This guy can coach him up. He's returning his quarterback and the OC in the same system here. Um, Graham Mertz, he broke the completion percentage record for Florida last year. And an offseason after that, I, I think he's going to have continued success here. He had a 20 to 3 touchdown to interception ratio last year. Uh, they were the, one of the youngest teams really across the nation. It kind of depends how you want to go about it. But they started the most freshmen last year. They have more than 200 career starts this season compared to last season and more than 10,000 snaps, career snaps this year compared to last year's squad. They bring in a top 10 transfer portal class. Now it gets into, yes, they are going to be more talented. I'm fairly confident in that. Will it translate to wins? That's really where the, the question comes in this bet. And I think it actually will. Now they have arguably the toughest schedule in college football. I think it is. But they have seven home games and they have winnable trips here against to Starkville against Mississippi State. And now Florida State, you know, that, that, that game in Tallahassee at the end of the year, uh, a lot of people would write that off as a loss. Well, we saw Florida State go down against Georgia Tech. I'm not so sure. So we kind of put that in our pocket with one of their big games. We got to look at, and they didn't look that strong, yet we can still place the bet now on the Gators. Last thing I want to go over, why I'm going over five and not four and a half, guys. It's the structure of the bet. We get plus 105 on that. So if you, if you risk 100, you get $105 at the end of the season if they get more than five wins. So you only have to lay a hundred bucks. And for that type of time frame, you know, interest rates high, things of that nature, I would rather go over five than four and a half minus 160, because then you're having to lay more money for a longer period of time or for the same period of time. I don't like that structure. Last thing on that in college football, a lot of times you're either right or you're wrong. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it, we'll figure this one out. If Florida goes, to, you know, only has three wins and we get mud on our face. Hey, that's it's called gambling for a reason. But I think there's a far greater chance this Gator team punches a ticket into a bowl game. I mean, six and six. Hey, that cashes our ticket, guys. So we're going up and over five wins with the Florida Gators to start off the college football season. In recap, we got the Mets run line over the White Sox under eight and a half Blue Jays and Twins. We got under nine A's and Rangers back in the first one we talked, team total under for the Pirates. That's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond Saturday. 
Come back and join us on Monday, guys. Premium Picks, wagertalk.com. Smash that like button, comment below. Enjoy your Saturday. Cash those.